for years, for over half of my life, I hated Father's Day. And sadly, I hated my father. I was adopted in 1996 by Mark Walker, ex-Marine, Eagle Scout, really an amazing man. I come to you today and share some of my story from a different place of my heart. Oh, for so many years, I held resentment in my heart, hate, frustration. I hated the man that I never knew. I don't know who my dad is, biologically speaking. I don't know, I've never met him, don't know his name. At 38 years old, I can finally say, I'm okay with that. This is just part of my story. Being a dad now for 15 years, it has brought me the greatest joy. And probably as equal the greatest frustrations. And I have to just stop right here for just a second to say, mom, I'm okay. You have nothing to be ashamed of. No guilt. It's just part of our story and our journey. So don't be mad. And don't feel embarrassed. This is our story. My prayer though is, is the ending of our story would be much different than the way that it started. So yeah, I have a 15 year old son and a 13 year old daughter and Although this journey is somewhat difficult, and you know, as dads, we don't know what we're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm giving it the best effort that I have. I show up every day and I'm present. And I've learned a lot of things on this journey. And one of those is patience and being slow to speak. And you know what, it's okay if I don't know everything. It's okay, but I shouldn't act like I do either. <laughs> but it's just been so fun seeing my babies growing up to being these wonderful, these wonderful humans. And to know that I had part of that. And I couldn't be more thankful to God for giving me these babies for a while. And my, my, I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying that I'll continue to do the best I can do. And I'll be patient with them because they deserve patience. And I'll be understanding because they deserve that. And I'm, most importantly, that I will shower them and give them the most love because my babies deserve that. And so do yours. Although my home may have been broken, it's healed now. Through the process of time and the grace of God, here I am. I'm not a statistic like they said I was going to be. I'm not in prison. I've never been addicted to drugs. And I'm super thankful for that. I'm giving you a snapshot of my journey. Love to share more about that. And maybe soon I will. Maybe with my dad. That'd be cool. Dad, let's tag team on that. And let's create this video of our journey. Because it was ugly. Although I'm so terribly sorry for that. What I did, and I didn't know it at the time, was all of the toxicity and, that I've seen and the trauma that I experienced. I, I took that and I, I, I spit that on you. And although your motives were pure, I didn't receive it, I didn't want it. I rejected it, I refused to accept it. And for that, I'm, I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do to take that back and get that time back. I wish I could, but you know I can't. But moving forward, what we can do is we can continue to build the relationship of father and son. 
And that's what my heart is. We've been through a lot together. <laughs> but I'm thankful for you. And I want to say I don't hate Father's Day anymore. I love you. And I'm proud of you. And I'm super thankful to call you dad. So, happy Father's Day. I hope it's special. And you're welcome for the amazing grandchildren. Guys, make it a great day. Embrace your fathers. Embrace your story. And be healed from all of the trauma you may have experienced. I speak that over you today. Make it a great Sunday. Bye.